Hey, if you've got a pool, a gunite pool with water features or with spillovers or um, uh, a hot tub that's maybe part of the pool that it spills over, you're going to get issues like I have here with calcium uh, and lime and just other uh, minerals getting sucked out of the uh, mortar and out of the concrete that your pool's made out of and reacting with the minerals in the water and then building up in places like this. And I seem to get them in the same places uh, throughout the year uh, where it seems to build up and seems to build up. And I'm going to show you how I clean it. And I purposely left this piece here to, to grow as big as it has so I could at some point make this video because it's a lot easier to fix than people realize. And, and I think there's a lot of bad information out there. Uh, I'll show you how I fix it here. All right, of course, the first thing you want to do is knock the big stuff off of the any buildup that you have. So if you got a wire brush like this, a stainless steel wire brush, um, it's also got a solid backside here that I can kind of knock the calcium with. And um, But you're going to want to hit it with something like this first. Get all the big stuff off before we use any chemicals on it. So now you can see I knocked off uh, all the stuff that was protruding out and now what's left is the stuff that's really bonded on tight to that grout line and to those tiles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some muriatic acid. This is uh, muriatic acid that you can buy at Lowe's. This is intended for pools. This is a Chemtech pool and spa care. You can buy muriatic acid at Lowe's and pay twice as much for really not much of a different uh, mixture. You're looking for this um, hydrogen chloride to be at 31.45 percentage here and uh, what you'll find is some of the commercial or the the masonry uses for muriatic acid it comes packaged different but it costs more so look in the garden center and you can find this stuff here for pool and spa care and, but uh, it's the right uh, solution that you want um, for cleaning off stuff like this and you can also be using this always for your pH control and alkalinity um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to pour it straight on, straight on to where it's got the uh, calcium leak. So now I've got it looking, the camera looking straight down on it, and my my spa's running, so there is a a, a small uh, volume of water that's pouring over the edge here, and I'm just going to pour this muriatic acid right on it, and watch what it does. Let it do its thing. It'd work even better if I turned the spa off, but yeah, I think this is still going to go. Just pour a little bit at a time. And then I'll come back after and hit it with that wire brush again. Just to polish it off, but you know, this is gonna take the majority of it away. And as you can see, it's bubbling less and less. I'm getting it to, to dissolve into the pool. And there you go, it's just about gone. Try to give you a better shot here of that. And here's another view of it here from that side where we started. You can see it's all gone, all cleaned up. So that's it. So that's how I get rid of these uh, recurring spots. I use muriatic acid directly on the area that needs the help. I hope that helped you. And uh, if the video did, please uh, give it a thumbs up and that'll help other people find it as well. Hey, have a great day.